Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs and uh, today I have to admit, although I promised you never to talk about screwdrivers or any standard tools uh, that every maker should have one, um, this part of the M show uh, actually is about screwdrivers, but they are, it's not about standard one like this uh, watchmaker screwdriver. Uh, you already can see they are kind of special, uh, specialized screwdrivers for very special purposes. Uh, you might already guess, because I've put our LCR meter here, uh, that it has to do something with uh, adjustment of coils or radio frequency adjustments. And uh, that's what uh, these, pl these sets of uh, plastic screwdrivers with different tips, not only uh, with um, uh, straight tips, but also with uh, square or Phillips head uh, tips. Uh, then we have a uh, screwdriver with a ceramic tip. And these ones, um, although they do have a slightly magnetic tip, it's not as magnetic uh, as this uh, standard screwdriver. It's much less, though they cling to the super magnet here, um, the effect is much less than here. And there's a good reason for that. Also, this one is slightly magnetic. Um, we'll see in a second um, what we can do with them. One thing uh, is already you can guess um, uh, that these, the shaft of these yellow green ones here, it's on the first side it's isolated so you can do uh, high voltage adjustments or adjustments in a high voltage uh, surrounding environment. Ah, the LCR meter has turned out to power off. Let's turn it on again. And uh, the very la la long shaft of, especially here, this one, uh, is quite handy when it comes to adjusting uh, in places where you really need the length to reach the what, whatever trim pot or whatever you have to adjust, adjust. Also, this set of two also has an isolated shaft made of uh, nylon, but it's not... Um, this is not uh, because of uh, high voltage work, but more, uh, first of all, it's ESD safe, of course. And the second is uh, that when you are adjusting um, coils, uh, that you have as, um, as little influence on the coil as possible. And now we'll, we'll test this, we'll see the difference uh, with, I've brought a little, uh, medium and short wave coil of around 100 micro Henry and let's see if we can uh, place it here. It's not very easy to stay that it stays in place. Now what we can see after some uh, adjustment that it does have an inductance of around 109 microhenry measured at 100 kilohertz. Now let's see when we only come near the coil or especially the ferrite uh, core of the coil with a magnetized or steel screwdriver and you can see uh, the inductance changes, changes, simple to explain because um, every, um, uh, every ferroelectric material, of course, uh, gives an extra, um, an extra inductance here, or it enlarges the inductance of the core. And if you want to adjust um, uh, this coil or the, the inductance of the coil with such a screwdriver, you will never succeed because uh, e even uh, placing the blade inside the slot of the core uh, enlarges the inductance and you, you may adjust and if you put it away it goes in this case about 5% uh, back to its old value. So now let's compare this uh, with, the, um, with the effect of the ceramic one. Let's, let's uh, 
the weight for the measurement it's 108.73 and if we put it into the slot absolutely nothing no influence no change even in the fifth digit uh, in the last uh, significant digit there's no chain change uh, so uh, the ceramic one is perfectly uh, for adjusting um, radio frequency coils sadly we only have this in one uh, size let's measure I think it's 2.6 millimeters or something like that uh, of course it's a right-handed caliper now for me as a left-handed person yeah it's 2.2.6 2. 2.6 seven millimeters or something around 2.5 and 2.7 millimeters now let's compare this with these uh, yellow ones and you see there is an influence it's though it's less pronounced than with this uh, standard watchmaker um, screwdriver uh, these ones are not as good as the ceramic ones, so they are more uh, useful for uh, trim pots. And let's measure the diameter of the blade also of this one. It should be around, yeah, it's two millimeters, so it's a little bit smaller than the ceramic one. This one also. They are all around very difficult for me as a left-handed person to hold them in place. They are slightly bigger than, uh, uh, larger than two millimeters. Sorry if you couldn't see it, but believe me. And now let's compare the action of this uh, black one. It also has a slight influence because it's not totally unmagnetic material. Uh, this one comes with a, um, it, all, it, it all in all has four blades. Uh, here, two of them are slightly receded. Um, I don't know why, for what purpose, but there will be a purpose. And the blade size, uh, there are two different blade sizes. Let's try to measure them. Oh, it's really a mess today. So really, again, difficult for me to measure and that you can see it also around the smaller one is around two millimeters and the larger one is around 3.2, 3.3 millimeters in the range. So um, as a, um, uh, these ones here are not totally suited for adjustment of radio frequency coils. They are more for trim pot adjustments. And uh, the ceramic one here, that was really the right one. And uh, I brought from home uh, two sets of these. I think it's made, they are made of nylon. Let's search one with a straight tip, but you already can guess uh, of course, nylon makes, or any plastic makes, absolutely has no effect on the coil because they don't have any magnetic properties. So, um, so that was the right time when, when it went to auto power off again. Let, let's make a, uh, let's put it all together. Um, I'm still searching for a good um, dealer or a good source for this set of uh, nylon screwdrivers. I once found them for myself at eBay but uh, couldn't find them uh, from one of our suppliers. So if you know a good source, a, a distributor who has a, such a set of uh, nylon screwdrivers with different uh, tip sizes, then please leave us a note. And um, the ceramic one is uh, very good for high frequency adjustment. So this is one group. And the other group are these two sets, 
which we have at our shop together with the ceramic one. They are more useful, not so much for adjustment of uh, radio frequency coils like this little one or usually you adjust the core, the ferrite core of the, of the coil. Uh, they are more for trimpot uh, adjustment or any other thing that has nothing to do with magnetic uh, properly, properties. Uh, these ones are ESD safe and these ones are for high voltage or because of the long shaft for uh, very inaccessible um, devices where you need this long shaft. So that was it for today. Um, let's sum it up again. Uh, these three ones we have in our shop. This is for high frequency uh, coil adjustment and this is for general trim port or any other adjustment. Uh, if you really uh, can um, name us a source for this uh, plastic adjustment sets. Uh, they are of course uh, quite cheap, uh, but um, when it comes to, to radio frequency coil adjustments, you really need one of these or one of these relatively expensive ceramic ones. Uh, please leave us a note. Uh, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and hope to see you next time at the M Show, what every maker should have one. Bye from Kanka Labs.